Damon Priest successfully cashed in his Money in the Bank briefcase and is now the new World Heavyweight Champion. This happened during the opening match for WrestleMania 40 Sunday, where Seth Rollins defended the World Heavyweight Championship against Drew McIntyre. Eventually, Seth Rollins lost the match. He was worn out because of his match the previous night. Drew McIntyre won the match, went over to the special guest commentator CM Punk to brag about his win, to brag about how much, you know, how he's so much better. You know, he deserves the win, that Punk has nothing, doesn't even have a WrestleMania moment, while McIntyre is now the new World Heavyweight Champion. Punk got tired of him, attacked him, and when Drew was down on the floor, came, you know, down the ramp, came running Damon Priest with his Money in the Bank briefcase in hand. He attacked Drew McIntyre and beat him to become the new World Heavyweight Champion. It was a crazy opening. I was, I was, I was confused first of all, and just you know, so many emotions at the same time. But we're here today to talk about the Judgment Day, hence why you know the the purple lights, you know the purple you know lights behind me as well down here, the little purple fire. Like I mean, it's concept. You you got you gotta you gotta respect that. But yeah, the Judgment Day. Why do I want to talk about the Judgment Day? It's because on night one, Damon Priest and Finn Balor lost their tag team championships. You know, the titles have been split. The Raw tag team championships have been won by The Awesome Truth, The Miz and Our Truth. And the SmackDown tag team championships have been won by A Town Down Under. So Austin Theory and Grayson Waller, which I'm happy about. But it's okay. So the Judgment Day lost the, both tag team championships. But on night two, Damon Priest won the World Heavyweight Championship. Rhea Ripley retained her Women's World Championship. Um, but Dominic Mysterio lost the tag team match, you know, with uh, Santos Escobar against Rey Mysterio and Andrade. So, you know, it's kind of half and half, you know, half of the Judgment Day have done good, half of the Judgment Day have done bad. So the question is, what is next for them? You know, because I personally predicted that they would be splitting up. But the thing is that, you know, Darren Priest just cashed in the Money, money in the Bank briefcase and he's the new champion. I don't see why they would split up right now with Rhea Ripley also being the women's world champion. So, okay, of course we're going to get all of these answers tonight, okay, on Monday Night Raw. But still, I just want to make my predictions, want to talk about it, you know, see what I come up with. But personally, personally, I don't know why my voice is changing that much. I believe, okay, here's my prediction. I believe that we are possibly looking at a total domination from the Judgment Day. Here is what I'm proposing, okay? Ripley is still champion. Damon Priest remains champion. You take Finn Balor and you send him against the new Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. So you have Finn Balor that challenges Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship. And then you can have the JD McDonough and Dominic Mysterio challenge for the Raw Tag Team Championships, okay? Because right now, Seth Rollins is probably taking a break, you know, after, after everything that's happened. Uh, this weekend, he's probably taking a break. Cody Rhodes is probably going to SmackDown because they need a world champion on SmackDown. Roman Reigns most likely gone. The Rock most, li most likely gone. So we're going to miss a lot of people. So you need to capitalize on who you have right now. So you need to capitalize on the Judgment Day, which is why I believe it would be a great idea to just give them a big boost, you know, give them a lot of title shots, give them opportunities, you know, have them fight a lot of people, have them win championships. I just think it's a great idea to just, you know, really push for them and work for them because otherwise you you kind of have nobody you know you're going to be left alone with a roster mixed with a lot of people but not so many main eventers you know and the big question is who are they going to send against Damon Priest for the World Heavyweight Championship you know it could be Gunther it could be actually a face turn or a heel turn from Finn Balor that wants to challenge Damon Priest for the championship maybe Drew McIntyre wants a rematch maybe Seth Rollins will get a rematch um, you know, there are, there are so many possibilities right now, but I'm, what I'm sure about is that it's a great thing to have Damon Priest as a new champion. You just got to capitalize on it. So I believe you need to push heavily for the judgment day and give them, you know, all the space and all, you know, all the matches and, you know, opportunities that they deserve. This is, this is just my opinion. Okay. WrestleMania has been crazy this weekend. I'm still recovering from Roman Reigns no longer being champion. I'm very happy for Cody once again. You can check my my latest video about this. But you know, it's been a crazy weekend. 
Damon Priest finally cashed in the Money in the Bank uh, contract, new World Heavyweight Champion, and we're going to get all of our answers tonight on Monday Night Raw. So this is it for my video, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me what you think about it. What do you think about Damon Priest as a new champion and who would you have against them? And do you think they should push the Judgment Day? I'll be making a lot more videos about this. And as I've said in my previous video, there is a big, big change coming for the channel. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out that big announcement. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy wrestling. It's so much fun right now. I'm happy to be a wrestling fan. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.